So would you say then, let's say democracy is not delivering, whether elsewhere we're focusing on the United States and Trump, is the momentum in the United States, whether it's the underlying issues or Trump's ability to exploit them, is the momentum in the United States going to continue to push it on the downward track? Do you see... We have different views, I think, on this point. Okay, so let's hear both. Uh, so my view is um, it really is radically indeterminate. And I, I find it very hard to answer this question because it asks, invites you to think like a spectator. Mm -hmm. um, and I can't think that way. Uh, but what I would say is what, whether it happens or not, it depends on decisions that people make. Mm -hmm. um, and that one of the things that the negative forces in American society, and they're not just Donald Trump personally, um, and that is, I mean, I, like every, we all enjoyed Michael Wolff's book, but the, the one problem with that, one, aside from unreliability, the one problem in the book, sorry, that was a mean comment, he's selling 10 times as many copies as I am. Uh, not for long. <laughs> um, uh, but the, the camera angle is too tight. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you, about two weeks ago, the president um, spoke at Camp David, and um, you saw the shot, there are like four people behind either shoulder. And I keep thinking the camera needs to widen. So you see those people, because mm -hmm. they're as essential to the story as he is. The negative forces... The enablers and the... the enablers, they're, they know they're in trouble. Um, and they are going to work hard to protect themselves. And in so doing, they will damage. They will have to. They will have to turn off the FBI. They will have to turn off the Department of Justice. Um, they will have to do everything they can to uh, make it more difficult for people, the wrong kind Which of people to vote. Which would further erode institutions. They have, and so, it, so it's, a, wow. it's, a, it's a context, but you have a different view. Well, I have two competing views. I mean, it depends on the day of the week, I think. Uh, uh, like, like a lot of people, you know, we, we all toggle between uh, mm -hmm. emotional extremes in this mm -hmm. period. Um, America is a very old country. It's a very old democracy. It's been through a lot worse. Um, resilience is built into the system. Mm -hmm. The system is holding. Institutions are decaying, and I'll come to that in a second. Mm -hmm. but, 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 it's, but, but the system is holding. The press remains free. The courts remain independent. Um, and I, I think that there's a very good chance we'll wake up, particularly if it's three years and not seven years, we'll wake up, snap back to some behavior that is more, from my perspective at least, reasonable. Um, but on the other hand, I mean, David writes eloquently about this problem and just spoke about it. Um, it's what other people are doing. Um, and it's the decay, the decay in trust in institutions, the actual decay within the institutions. If you look at the number of people fleeing the State Department right now, um, you look at the pressure that the FBI is under. Neither of these institutions is perfect, obviously. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but we're going to lose a generation of mm -hmm. decent civil servants mm -hmm. because indecent people are driving them out and you you layer on to this this uh, this notion that our, our, our population no longer uh, is taught the value of democracy American democracy other forms of democracy um, no longer believes that America plays a special role in the world I know that's a controversial assertion because sometimes America plays a special negative role but very often it plays a very special positive role um, it we are we are losing our sense of who we are and what role we've played historically. We are losing belief and faith in our institutions. Uh, and and these could be setting us on... All empires but, decline. I mean, we, it's very hard for Americans to actually get right, this in their right, heads. That, that's where I want to go. Empires All empires do decline. decline right? if, if, if democracy is being a challenge to address the issues of the modern day, there are two possible routes, I, I would imagine. One is you you embrace the fundamental values that are there in institutions and you try and address the problems and make it better. Or you succumb to the other side, to me, which is the Trump side and the, and the dark forces that want to put up all these false boogeymen and these false good guys. I mean, America's not going to get better with more coal. Let so me, so which you, route? Let me give you a very concrete example of, of something that is in play right now that will be decisive. Um, President Trump famously fired the director of the FBI, James Comey, um, because James Comey would not halt the investigation into Russia and would not halt the investigation into the former national security advisor, um, uh, Michael Flynn. And we were learning every day more about how compact all of this was and how very directly and expressly. 
theoretically, the president appoints the director of the FBI confirmed by the Senate. Theoretically, and the, the, the FBI director is supposed to serve a 10-year term, but theoretically the director of the FBI is removable by the president. Theoretically. In practice, the head of the FBI has not been removable by the president. And the last time an FBI director was removed was in the early 1990s. There was an, a director of the FBI named uh, William Sessions um, who, was, who was accused of mishandling his expense account. And there was an investigation inside the executive branch um, at which the FBI director was allowed to speak for himself, was given process. Um, the president became convinced that the charges were true. He then, president Clinton then consulted with members of Congress. Uh, I think, I think there were congressional hearings at which sessions testified. And at the end of some weeks of debate, um, the president fired sessions for cause with consultation. Um, in other words, that the FB, head of the FBI is not the president's personal head of his personal security detail. Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. So Donald Trump fires Comey. That's bad. But what is much worse is in order to defend this, people, important people in Trump's party, leaders of Congress, are saying the head of the FBI serves at the president's pleasure. Uh, everybody, he can be fired at any time for any reason. Alan Dershowitz will say this on television. Um, he can be fired at any time uh, for any reason. If they win, that will be the new rule. It wasn't the rule before. In practice, it may have been the rule Notionally, but it wasn't the rule, but it will be the rule in the future. And if the head, if the, head of the FBI is removable by the president at whim, um, then you are suddenly not like Germany. I mean, that, that's not true in Germany. That's not how you fire the head of the German. But that would be, so funny, that, that would be an indication that institutions of democracy are being challenged, and so America's going down. But I'm still trying to understand from both of you and from the insights from this book, there are real hurts in America. Like, there's a division, right? There's, there's amazing polarization. What is being done today? What is going on in America that actually is going to make life better for Americans? At the end of the day, call me yes, no, this one, yes, no. It doesn't actually help the guy in the middle of Kansas. What is going on in America today that is going to make life better for Americans? What is going on is this ongoing economic recovery. The, the article I wrote that started this whole process it originated in Scott Stossel's office, and I was there with Jeff, and we had, Jeff is a very decisive executive, and um, we had a three-minute conversation over thereabouts, and he said, go, go, and it was about, would this work? And I started the article by suggesting, by imagining a future in which Donald Trump is 20, 21, he's been re-inaugurated, he has been a popular president mm -hmm. because of economic expansion. And that's going to make a real difference for people. It really is. They're going to be everybody. better off. Everybody. So it won't be any. Well, not everybody. Industry, but but I, 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 uh, I don't want to suggest that that alone would solve the, pr the problem that you're talking about. And it's interesting because this bit of analysis comes from someone within the Trump administration, Jim Mattis, the Secretary mm -hmm. of Defense, um, whose presence in the administration, by the way, is what allows a lot of people to sleep at night, um, comma. Um, uh, Jim Mattis says, uh, he was asked, and I've asked him this, I said, what, you know, uh, what, what worries you the most? And you expect the Secretary of Defense to say North Korea or Iran or whatever. He says, he says, the problem in America is that people have stopped liking each other. We no longer like each other. And David, David talks about that. When you lift off the, when, when, and what, what we're lacking now are the restraints that kept people from saying exactly what was on their minds mm -hmm. to each other across social mm -hmm. media especially. I mean, social media has this tendency, obviously, mm -hmm. to, to, to exacerbate and inflame rather than bring together. Um, and, and, and this is the problem. They're, they're really, look, we've been through this before in the history of America where it's split into two. Uh, I'm not suggesting that that's where it's heading. There's no one issue that would cause that to happen, but it does feel very much like two countries. And I, and I, you know, part of the problem, and I don't, I don't want to go on at length about this, but part of the problem is that um, our politicians have failed to level with the people about the, the way the world is today. People are, are extremely worried about globalization, free trade, technological disruption. David writes a lot about these issues. Uh, politicians don't level with people, Donald Trump doesn't level with people and say, look, I'm not going to stop globalization. I'm not going to stop technological disruption. I guess that's what I was after, the, the concept that democracy is not working that you mentioned and that there doesn't seem to be an ability, and maybe we have some of this here in Canada too, to be honest with people 
about the issues. And no politician connect. goes out and manages people's expectations. Right.